I'm asking in the tens of thousands. you as Home Secretary, are you personally committed to the tens of thousands policy? I'm committed to our manifesto, but what that means is that over the next few years, I'll be working towards rightly reducing net migration and bringing yes. it to lower sustainable levels. But you haven't yet said that you're committed to the tens of thousands. I, I've said I'm committed to the manifesto, and that commits every Conservative to right. the commitments well, that it, were made. I don't know what Ruth Davison would say to that. She says, I see neither the sense nor the need to stick to an immigration figure devised nearly a decade ago which has never been met and does not fit the requirements of our country. She's right, isn't she? Or why is she not right? Well, you can get Ruth on your show and you can ask her more <coughs> about what she said. But well, it's I, fairly what, clear. I think where, where Ruth and I would absolutely mm. agree, and I think every Conservative colleague of mm. mine, is that overall migration today, net migration is still too high. It's coming down. It's down significantly from where it was a few years ago. But, and so we need a policy for the longer term that's going to bring it down to that sustainable level. So we want to absolutely have this policy that welcomes people that want to make a contribution, brings those high skills in that we need. But we need, overall, we do need a more sustainable level of net migration. And tens of thousands is still something that you're happy with. It's a commitment in our manifesto. Tory MPs have been writing to you, I know about this, which is um, highly experienced and, and capable would-be immigrants, yeah, this, in, particularly this, doctors. Yeah, yeah. so-called tier two tier visas. Two. Now, we have thousands upon thousands of vacancies for doctors in the NHS mm. up and down the country. Last year, your department refused the visas of 1,500 would-be doctors who wanted to come from overseas and help us in our NHS. Uh, one NHS manager described this policy as completely balmy. What's your view? Uh, I think... I can understand when the policy was put in place, there was a cap that was uh, established of 20,700 a year of these highly skilled uh, mm -hmm. immigrants. And uh, for years and years, that cap wasn't hit. It's only in recent months the cap's being hit. And the doctor that you refer to there is probably referring to the fact that uh, that includes a, a number of doctors that are qualified, that are NHS needs, that mm. are being turned yeah, away. Yeah, exactly. So, so, it seems uh, very I, odd, doesn't it? It, it? I see the problem with that. And it is something that I'm taking a fresh look at. I know a number of my colleagues certainly want me to take a look at this and that's exactly what I'm doing and I hope to bring you know, think about this uh, more carefully and see what can be done.